Salvador Dali, born in 1904, was known as one of the greatest surrealist artists of all time, and perhaps his best known work is The Persistence of Memory, or as you may know it, The Melting Clock Image. It's haunting yet beautiful, perfectly blending a realistic landscape with the eerie image of clocks oddly drooping and melting in various places, and represents one of Dali's central tenets of blending softness, in this case the clocks, with hardness, such as the mountains in the background of the sharp corner of the platform. So, why do I bring this up? Because for some reason, Dr. Wily decorated his castle with it. Welcome back to Mega Man 2, the final episode where we are storming Wily's castle. I'm guessing that because there's a general theme of time travel in this game, kinda, if you read the manual, that's why the clocks are in the background, but it really makes no sense. They're just there, and if you didn't read the manual, which, let's be honest, oh, whoops, I missed that energy tank. A lot of us did not? You never know. Uh, what do I want to... Let's do that. So yes, this is a very short game. 45 minutes tops to beat. Uh, uh whatever. <laughs> Bye. Bye. And so, the... I can, again, I can kind of see why Kaiji Anafune isn't a big fan of this game. It kind of does away with a lot of set, uh, major parts of Mega Man. Like the boss rematches, those are just gone. Or the multi-stage Dr. Wily battle, that's gone too. His castle is just one level, and it's a pretty basic level too. Like, here's one of the bigger challenges. Can you hold left? Do we have enough? Oh, yeah, God, we've got plenty with Rush Line. Let's go. But look, what if, a, what if there's actual enemies in the Rush Machine area? Rush Marine, whatever. That was fun. So after all the talk I did about how much I like this game, I'm sure putting it down a lot. It definitely falls into that it's flawed, but I enjoy it category, you know? Oh, we're already here! Wow, okay. This level is even shorter than I thought. Oh god, this jump. Oh. No, normally that takes me like 10 or 12 tries to do. Alright, to make up for it, I just ran headfirst into that spike thing. Oh, one of you. Drummer's going nuts. Told the composer we need a drum in the background. It's like, yeah! Goodbye, Egg. Yeah, we are already at Dr. Wily. This video is going to be like two minutes long. All right. Dr. Wily... Dr. Wily is so well-known for his many different ways of fighting you. How does he do it this time? As an ostrich. He's, he's just ran out of ideas. The ostrich jumps at you, then shoots a bomb. Then shoots its toenail at you. Rinse, repeat. That's, that's it. You have to shoot Dr. Wily in his big, stupid face. I know, it's kind of weird that he's an ostrich. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, wait a second. But actually, he isn't an ostrich. He's... a car. Once again, shoot him. He shoots some fireballs at you. And then a bomb, which splits. And then... Oh, but wait. It is time for his actual, actual form. A Tyrannosaurus! Which doesn't move. He shoots one missile at you, then shoots a bunch of Goombas, and then pokes his head out. Dr. Wily is not trying this time. Uh, we're gonna use an energy tank. And it's time to summon the greatest weapon of all. Come, Sakugarne! Sakugarne! 
You, you just hold A, and Andy dies. We, we beat the game. <laughs> I don't get this game sometimes. Gotta absorb that power for the post credit sequence, where Mega Man is invited to join the Avengers. All right! Mega Man is already sick of Dr. Wily's stuff. And just straight up shoots him with a missile in space. <laughs> oh shoot, we just wiped out Honduras. And, uh... The end. So, that's Mega Man 2! Now we get to learn all the enemies' names, which is always something I like. Aw, Chibi! Sounds like a Pokemon. Like I said, this game is... Wanan! <laughs> oh god. I'm gonna have something to say, but I'm gonna keep getting distracted by their names. Hammer Joe. This game is very flawed, but I'll, I'll always have a soft spot for it. Kakatekitub. I didn't even get a chance to read all that. I played it so much... I thought it was me too. Whatever. I played it so much as a kid, I could probably beat it blindfolded. It's just one of those games that... It's a comfort zone game is the best way to play it. I could just pop it into my Game Boy, play it for a little bit, be done with it in about 30 minutes, and that's it. And most importantly, groove to the music a little. Just say what you will about the gameplay, but the music is wonderful. Penerchi! I do find it weird they did nothing with the story. Quint never comes back? I don't think, anyway. Does Quint come back? But either way, you don't learn about Quint until... I don't know, I guess years later they would talk about it. And be like, oh yeah, that's Mega Man from the future. That's... Quint is essentially the beta for Mega Man X, I guess. But they just don't talk about it in the game, which is weird because you think that'd be a selling point. Instead, the manual just mentions, oh, he went to the future, and now go fight him. Bippy. Mega Man 3 and 4 and 5 and whatnot on the Game Boy, I would say are better games. They play better, they're closer to what Mega Man is all about. But this one will always be... This is the big nostalgia game for me. And now I'm just sitting here remembering all the names. Ball. This... These credits make up like half the overall game's runtime. Oh, that was close to being a, a very different word. Putty Goblin. These are so... Just such weird enemies. Sure! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot about that one. And a shiggity shiggity shorm. I like the ones that they don't bother to translate. Kaminari Goro. Like, I'm just, what, what do you expect me to say? I beat the game. Oh, we're already on the Robot Masters. Clashman, who I believe is sometimes referred to as Crashman, depending on which version you're playing. Metal Man. Oh, their, their names are listed as one long name rather than metal space name or whatever. Ah, the worst robot master. God bless you, hard man. I'll, I'm sorry about your name and your body. None of the robot masters in this game are my favorites. I always like Shadow Man. And, like, some of the ones from future games. Snake Man was really cool, too. Just because his level was so awesome. 
There it is, Quint! Yay! That's that's all the story you're getting. <laughs> Go to hell, player. And that's it. That's the end. We're on this screen forever now. I can press all the buttons I want. Mega Man will just stare into space for the rest of time. Well, thanks for watching Mega Man 2. Boy, that game was... Shorter and not as good as I remember, but I love it. Maybe someday I'll do a playthrough. Oh, what the? I, I actually didn't know there was more. Oh my gosh. We've reached forbidden territory. Capcom. Okay, now is there anything else? Now, is there anything else? I will wait here until something else happens. Okay, I, I think it's safe to say that nothing else happens. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe for regular gaming videos two times a week from shows like Dollar Store Gaming, Game Boy Roulette, Retro Rapid Fire, and 10 Things You Missed. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.